today's vlog, I'm going to be showing you guys how to clean the base of a bunk bed. All too often, we solely focus on the mattresses on our beds, and there's a reason for that. It's because they get bed bugs and dust mites if you're not vacuuming them regularly, etc. etc. They have our skin that we shed like a snake and you just want to get rid of it on the actual mattress. So I am going to be bringing you guys a mattress clean. A few of you have been asking for one that is coming, fear not. But I wanted to focus on the actual base itself today. The reason why is like I said, I do think that we focus so much on the mattresses that the base of the bed gets a bit overlooked and neglected and we think it just doesn't need cleaning. I was included in that. I mean, the outside bits I would, but not necessarily the underneath and stuff. I mean, underneath the actual bed itself, I would vacuum. But when it comes to actually pulling the mattresses off and stuff, it would just be a quick vacuum job, eh, just to get rid of any dust. Now, the reason you should be cleaning them weekly is because the base of your bed will still come into contact with skin, hairs, um, and that obviously creates dust and stuff and the, hair, the oil from your hairs and your skin and your feet even that then is a haven for bacteria and germs because they like the oils so that's not to say your whole bed is like this great big like nightclub to germs and bacteria it isn't, don't freak out but it's just something that does need to be done once in a while. So it should actually be done weekly. If you change your bedding weekly, it's a good idea to do it along with your bedding. So I'm gonna move on to now the first step in cleaning the base of our beds. And you guys are gonna come with. This particular bug bed that I am going to be cleaning over today is from bedkingdom.co.uk for those of you that want to know. I will add a link in the description box for you if you quite like this bed. It is actually reduced at the moment as well which is good. The reason that I went for this particular bed is I like the fact that it doesn't have the normal slats. You know the like thin things? They're like the really skinny ones. They don't have those. This is um, more solid in that sense which makes it easier to clean because I do have to the reason I do this regularly now is as my son's allergies like I keep saying tend to get worse or better or whatever I just like to find other ways to like reduce it and this is one thing that I was slightly overlooking although I was cleaning the bed I wasn't thoroughly like taking the whole lot off and I think most of us are guilty of that. I don't think there's many people that do actually tend to do that because, like I said earlier, you do look at it and think, oh, well, it's mainly the mattress where it's going to hold all the dust. It isn't. The bed frame does as well. So I liked this bed for that reason. I also love the fact that it's, like, super sleek. So those of you that have subscribed to this channel, you'll see that I'm doing the Move With Me series and um, it will be coming up in a later vlog where I'm going to do the bedroom reveal and what we've done to the boys' room. Um, but I just really liked the fact that this was quite sleek looking and it was a lot lower than normal bunk beds. Like, it's just exhausting work when you're a parent and you're having to, like, climb. Or even if you're, like, a student even, like, and you're having to actually climb up these ladders and... Before you know it, you're like, shall I just get a squeegee and a bucket of water and become a window cleaner as a profession? It's just super dangerous sometimes, I think. There's been many a times where I've been up a ladder of a bunk bed and I'm like, I'm definitely going to sustain an injury today. I haven't though, but the potential was always there. So I like the fact that this is a lot lower and a lot smaller than an average bunk bed. And there's also um, some storage bits on here as well. So I'm not going to show you what we're going to be placing on these just yet. That is going to be in the Move With Me series coming up. But there's shelves on either side of the end of this bed where you can do different um, cool effects and you could put different things on it. But like I said, I will show you that in the Move With Me episode. So I'm going to go on now and 
vacuum the actual base of the bunk bed itself. This is the first thing you're gonna wanna do. You're just wanna gonna grab your hoover and attach the dust attachment to it and just go over the whole of the bed with that. Now, if you are embarking on the bunk bed base clean with me, then that song where they do started from the bottom, now we're here, ignore it. You wanna do started from the top and now we're here because you always wanna do the top first. The reason why, as you're vacuuming, the, there will be dust that does fall down. It just will happen naturally. So what you don't wanna do is vacuum all the bottom base and then move on to the top and then start vacuuming up there and then the dust is falling through back down to the bottom because it's just gonna waste your time and I would hate for you to do that. So start from the top and work your way to the bottom. Stay one more night Don't you know that my love is true Let's make things right I understand what you're going through Stay one more night And I know that it's not too late Let's make things right You just have to believe in faith anti-backing it all. Now I have a few options for you all. For those of you that don't like to use a chemical, what you can use is tea tree oil and just mix about, I'd say about a tablespoon worth up with some um, water and you can use that on a wet cloth but make sure it's not soaking wet because you don't want to damage any of the wood or whatever the material is that you know the, the, the unit is. So to make sure you do that, don't make sure you really, really do wring it out. Or you can use antibacterial wipes, which is what I'm gonna be using on this particular one today. Or a third option, if you really, really would like to, is you can um, get some antibacterial um, washing up liquid and fill it with some warm water. And again, use a cloth that is literally almost dry because you don't want it to be soaking wet, but you do want some sort of agent that's gonna kill off any of the germs and bacteria. Because like I said earlier, the oils from your skin and your hair will stick to the bed and bacteria and germs apparently seem to like that, according to science. So they're your three options. If you do have other kind of ideas, then feel free to use those if you'd rather. These are just some options. I am bringing you guys. Another thing to quickly say as well is if you do have a solid wood bed, use some sort of polish at the end of it just to protect the wood itself. But this one obviously isn't that, which is another thing I do like, because it takes away the aggro of having to polish it all down. So we're gonna go ahead now and wipe down the whole unit. useful 
as you just saw, this actually takes no time at all to do. So it is super worth it. If you do have anyone in your house that suffers from allergies, or even if you don't, it is just worth it doing when you're kind of um, changing the bed sheets. Just pull the mattresses off and make sure you do the thorough clean of the bed frame and it really will not take that much time. It doesn't at all. It takes like five, 10 minutes to do. If you are in the process of getting bunk beds, just remember to do as I've shown you in this video and do that, I'd say, at least once a week and you will have a nice, clean bunk bed, frame and base. See you all again next time on Hayley's Tech. It's the Cordless Cleaning Challenge. So today, I'm going to be cleaning my house using only two products and no chemicals. Bye guys. This is the challenge that I have been set and I am literally going to be using this cordless back and this cordless mop. The kitchen is looking like a pigsty. There's mess all over the floor. <coughs> Excuse me. Sad that Mr. Breach isn't coming out to play this morning. I can't use chemicals in this because it's a cordless cleaning challenge. I'm going to be using these. These are really good because you can throw these away. You have jabs and throw it in or... I can attach this to this. And finally, we are moving on the bathroom. It just feels a bit weird not going up there with like 20 bottles of bleach wrapped over my back like some sort of bleach donkey <laughs> heading up to the stairs to be like, hi bathroom, are you ready for a clean? <laughs>